I su well, I su I've been suffering with cramps, um, and is one of those things they can get really bad. Um, one situation was where they literally had to I had to call the, um, the ambulance and go to the hospital. It was really severe. So um, some of you might understand what I'm talking about. Um, you know, growing up, I didn't have any trouble until you know later on in life. So. It was really one of those things, you know, I call it my monthly visitor, but every time it came, I was like, oh, Jesus, please help me change, help me change my diet, whatever it is I need to do, which has also helped, but I've been praying in the Lord that he would um, one day just, you know, take those pains away. And how did you receive your healing from this problem? Well, um, it happened at the conference on when Apostle John Chi was going around praying for leaders. And so he prayed for me, but he wasn't specifically for that point. And then immediately I started having uh, my regular, my monthly visitor came along and it lasted instead of two and a half, three days, which was pretty short normally for women. It went pretty much with, it went smooth. It was pretty much five days. And so I was just very um, taken aback by the blessing. And so you did not experience any pain afterwards? No, no pain. Um, I was just surprised that I can, my monthly visitor can be as, as much at that time, so without any pain. Yep, all us ladies, we know what she's talking about. Amen? Yep. And I know, Michelle, that you've got one more, one more testimony to share with, with us about um, breakthrough in your finances. Can you please share with us? Um, well, um, as one committed to the Lord, I've always, you know, the last couple of years, pretty much I would say maybe last six years, or um, I've been really seeking God more and more and more and more. And so I, prior to coming here, I was in California, and so I started seeking God um, concerning um, work um, because I had gone on the mission field. I came back, and I didn't know what, you know, what path God would put me on. And so I started praying about, you know, getting work again. You know, Lord, is it your will? And the Lord had shown me by revelation um, through dreams that I would get work. But at the time, I was living in California, and I, the dreams would be like, okay, the, the, my former boss was giving me work. I'm like, well, okay, Lord, what is it you're saying? So until I came here, and the Lord was directing me specifically here, specifically to this church, and and I was really stressed because I had, you know, I, my um, my house was taken, you know, it was foreclosed, and there was all these things happening, and I had to, you know, I had just gotten married. A lot of stress was going on with me. I mean, I, I was, my hair was literally falling. I had hair falling out of the shower. I didn't know what to do, and I was, I had done everything I could possibly do to serve God and seek His face. So, um, so I just obeyed and came here, and on my by the time I, when I got here, within um, a week and a half time, literally, I got work. And it was like, it was like the work was pretty much handed to me. It, I didn't even know I was in a job interview. It was like, hey, come over. Oh, get your fingerprints. I'm like, okay. You know. um, the next day, they call again. Come over. Um, we'd like you to bring some paper. I'm like, okay. Is it, a, is it an interview? Um, no. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, and I was there, and then it was just offered. So I just, and at the same salary that I was when I back, was back in, um, when I had, um, left my uh, job to go to um, on the mission field. So how long were you in search for a job and praying for that job? Um, about, I would say almost about a year. Um, I was pretty much without work for about a year and I was living off of my savings. And, um, and so as you moved here, you got a job right away? I got a job a week and a half, just, just arriving it was like touchdown and I was filling the application crying my husband was like just filling the I'm like I can't do this you know it's been 10 years I can't all these little specifics I think it's a good place to <laughs> clap our hands for Jesus Christ <laughs> Michelle thank you so much uh, in the conclusion would you please share a word of advice for people who might be struggling with some kind of a pain or a setback in finances what would you tell them um, we just need to really humble ourselves, cry out to God, seek His face, and pray. Um, in um, Second Chronicles 17, I believe, I'm not sure, 17, maybe 4, the Lord, it says, it says very specifically, if my people will humble themselves, and humility, we have a hard time understanding humility. Humility is being, getting on your, on your face at times, getting on your knees, whatever it takes you to bring yourself at a low state. 
whatever humbles you, bring yourself low in your heart, in your spirit. The other thing is to seek God's face. The, how do we seek him? We seek him by being in the word, not reading other, board, other books out there about the word, reading God's specific breath word, the word of God, the Bible. The other thing is to pray constantly praying is not only just having time but throughout the day you're praying saying god bring me truth bring me truth so those are the things and then um finally um so pray seek um humble and yeah pretty much those things if you do those things um the lord will answer your prayer